Welcome back to the channel. My name is Sherelle and in this video we will be doing a full review of the Hayek Centric Philadelphia in Center City. This was a great time to be in Center City. I did stop past the Amor sign, which is not very known, where you could take pictures and there's never a line over here. Now let's head over to the hotel. We are staying at the Hyatt Centric Center City, Philadelphia, located um, about 10 minutes away from Love Park. I stayed in the king bedroom um, with a uh, city view. I am a Discoverers member with World of Hyatt. If you are not a member of Hyatt, I would highly recommend signing up as you do get late checkout and early check-in if available. The lobby is located on the second floor along with this dining area which you can come down and order breakfast, um, lunch, and dinner. Um, I chose to skip this during this time but they also have an outdoor terrace which you can eat your meals outside which this was a gorgeous day so it was a lovely day to eat outside. Now we're going to walk back through the dining area and head to the elevators up to the ninth floor which is where our room was located and this hotel is also about 10 minutes away from a uh, Rittenhouse Square so it's a gorgeous park that you can walk around and get some exercise but let's head into the room now. When you first enter the room on the left side will be your shower area as well as your sink and on the right side will be your water closet. I love with the city view room areas, uh, you get such beautiful light that comes into the room. I did have, um, have this room for a staycation, so I was able to take great pictures and just get natural lighting in the room. To the floor to ceiling window is a sitting area as well as a mini refrigerator and you have your bottles of water with your TV. The room also has a small sofa area with a table so you can sit and eat um, here or you can eat at the desk area. I did opt for a king bed with the city view. So this is the bed. I give it an eight out of 10. And this is the view from my room, which was gorgeous. I love the natural lighting that comes into the room during this time of day. When you slide the mirror to the left, it will display a closet area where you can store your luggage as well as your hanger clothes. Underneath the TV is this additional storage area as well as the safe is located here as well.
for dinner, I did choose a quick dinner this night and got an pizza. I got the chicken bacon ranch uh, pizza. Next time I'll probably get it without the peppers, but it was delicious. The pizzas are made uh, fresh to order and I did get mine with Parmesan and hot honey on top. I did keep the blinds open during the evening hours for sunset as the city has a gorgeous view with all the lights lit up over at night. The next day I did get up a little bit earlier because I wanted to take some pictures for Instagram. So I will leave my Instagram below. So please head over and follow me there to see the results of the pictures. Located on the fifth floor of this high eccentric is the gym and they offer in the back area towels that you can use while working out. And located back on the lobby area is this snack area, which they have uh, items for purchase and uh, as well as a microwave, which I did use to heat up my pizza uh, when I returned the other day. After checking out of the hotel, um, I did walk around the city. I did have a late checkout, which was 2 p.m. So I did decide to walk over to Reading Terminal to get um, a late lunch for the day. I have been to Reading Terminal a few times as I do live close to the city. I do recommend going during the weekday as Saturdays can be very crowded and a little bit hard to navigate. But I did go to my famous cookie place to get my favorite cookies. I got a chocolate chip, a peanut butter chocolate chip, as well as a snickerdoodle. Reading Terminal is just a great place to walk around if you're here by yourself or with friends or family. You can get fresh produce, you can get food to grab and go, as well as they do have in-house dining areas. I also stopped past my favorite Lancaster cold pressed juice area. Um, they are a little bit expensive, but I do recommend them. I got the orange mango and the mango raspberry lemonade. And for the walk back to my car, I did get some ice cream. I got two scoops of strawberry in a rainbow cone. I will list the prices for the hotel as well as all food shown in the video in the description box below. On the walk back to my car, I decided to walk through Love Park to get some pictures. Love Park and the Amore sign are about 10 minutes away from each other. I do recommend the Amore sign as there is never a line over there. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Hayek Centric Philadelphia Center City. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel as well as share this video with a friend. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.